commission doesn't meet your lot on the heads of those those areas to actually to look at look at uh, cuts across the board. Also, we need to look at the commission to look into find other alternative ways of funding, not necessarily cutting costs, but you know looking into grants, uh, state federal types of grants, you know, for other kinds of options, any kind of alternative funding to, to help our, our city grow. They need what they need to do. They need to come together. Uh, the mayor, the commissioners, and also the town officials, uh, they need to come together uh, and try to look at the budget in order uh, to see why the cuts need to be made. And also to, uh, working with the police department and all the town officials. Uh, don't just go to just cut the, the, uh, without looking at the budget to see why you can do the cuts or not. Uh, I believe that there should, once we take office again, we should have an immediate hiring freeze so that each department can evaluate their employees and while we can evaluate the department heads also. Uh, I believe there's a lot of dead weight in some of the departments and I think the commission should take a more active role in hiring and terminating employees rather than leaving it all to the city manager. Right now, we can't afford to do much cutting. We're patching the back holes up. We're trying our best to keep everything at a low price. We're not trying to increase anything. And as far as cutting back, if you cut back too much, you really hurt having anybody to do your services for you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, one thing, if you don't attend, City Commission meetings, you really don't get to see it in action. And I didn't get to see it in action until I uh, got on the City Commission this past time. One thing you guys might not know is that we do make cuts. The, we, the department heads do not get everything they ask for. Um, our, our city manager and uh, chief financial officer, I think they do a pretty good job at what, what they're doing. But I feel like we can make some common sense um, judgment, uh, just little things just to, to, in each department to try to save. And like David said, there's grants out there. We need to keep going after those grants. And um, because you just can't cut everything. Um, I mean, everybody in here, they, they live and so on and so forth. Now, we're making cuts because of the economy. If I get too long, then let me know. <laughs> but everybody in here, we're making sacrifices. And I feel like we can do it in the city also. But like I said, make common sense judgment. Um, and, and when we do make cuts to the budget, the, the department heads do not get everything they ask for. Um, but we, we, we do the best we can. Okay. Thank you. And now for question number three, the order shifts to Robert is first, then Jeff, then Mike. Martha, Junior, David, and Doug. And question number three is what services, if any, will you propose to add or improve the city services for the citizens of Holt? If I'm elected as yes, the city commissioner, what I, I, I have the, the positive yeah, I, I, I have the positive way of bringing, uh, well, working with people. You know, and that's what that's what we need to do. You know, uh, I have the positive and uh, impact in order to uh, bring bring about the changes in the community. Because it, it did, there's some changes need to be be made, but we need to work. Uh, uh, I've had a positive uh, 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 better way of working with the mayor the city commissioners, and all the town officials in order to make these, uh, these changes that need to be made in the community. Because that, that, that is a, a lot of changes need to be made in the community, and we need to come together as a unity. The 
mayor, working with the commissioners, and I know, and working with the town officials and police department, all of them need to come together in unity. Because where that unity, there's strength. And I, I, was, I was saying a lot of times, the churches, they need to come together in unity too. Uh, they need to come together. And, uh, and we got uh, this uh, uh, Ken, Ken Ten form uh, uh, committee now, where we meet once a month, trying to bring the people together, where they can come together with their ideas in order to uh, uh, do things, you know, in order to make things pleasant for this community. Okay, thank you very much, Robert. All right, uh, services. <laughs> right now, I don't think we're going to afford any more services. <laughs> One thing that I would like to see is recycling put into effect here in Fulton um, and, well, in South Fulton. I think it would help with the beautification and so on and so forth. Um, but right now, um, I, don't, I don't see any services that we could, any new services that we could add. I think we need to improve on what we've got. Now, we have a, a real good police department, real good public works, real good fire department, and ambulance service. But don't, I mean, they're real good, but I think they can get better, you know. And um, that, that's going to take the department heads and the city commission and the city manager and the mayor and, and everybody working together. To, uh, to improve on those things. I would like for us to readdress the animal control issue. Uh, I know that the residents of Fulton right now, if their dog or cat gets picked up, they're having to drive all the way to Hickman. I don't believe that this arrangement is working out too well, and it's something I would really like for us to readdress, as well as the central dispatch issue. It was brought before us several months ago, and uh, we voted against it. But I think if they would come and educate us a little more, that that's something that would save the citizens of Fulton money and would be best for the city. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Mark. Since it is a lengthy question, let me read it again and then move on to the other hand, please. What services, if any, will you propose to add or improve to city services for the citizens of Fulton? Well, the services, I don't see adding any services unless the taxes are increasing. Nobody wants to add services, but I'm with my uh, the Humane Society. I would like to see them take over the animal control and to take care of the animals instead of euthanize them. I would like to see it. Humane Society to take that over. Maybe that won't be as much cost as to the city, but it'd be a lot more humane, and that's really something close to my heart, and that's what I want to improve. Thank you. As far as adding new services, I don't think I can afford to do that right now. If we still have a special pickup, like trash and stuff that people have put out in the roads, that is a good system. It keeps the town a little cleaner. And as far as adding anything else at the present, I don't think so. I think as far as uh, adding any services, I'm like most of the rest of the people sitting up here. Fulton doesn't, does not have the money at this point really to add any services. We need to go and we need to streamline and improve the current services that we have in place. The, you know, the, the police department, the fire department, kind of like Mike was talking about. But Mike hit, Mike hit it first and, and really hit one of the best things, talking about centralized dispatch. I think that, that was uh, something that we really got to be educated on and really need to vote for, uh, you know, whoever's in commission, uh, this, this, the size of this county, the size of Fulton, we need to we need to work with you know, work with the, the rest of the county and, and really get that in place. Uh, I think that's our number one. If any if anything is to be added, the supplies dispatch is a must. Thank you. I agree with David, Mike, and everybody up here. Uh, centralized dispatch, I believe, would be an excellent thing for us to have. It would save us time, save us. Actually, money uh, utilize 
not only the Fulton Police Department, but utilize the county and the surrounding counties uh, with us, where one dispatch would basically handle quite a few things. The animal control really needs to be uh, looked at to better it, as Martha said, to the main society to take it over or to help with it. Um, I know if I lost a dog, going all the way to Hickman just to pick him up is, is troublesome. And, and a lot of people don't have the time. 30 minutes.